ouais, c'est oui. comme ça dans les, dans les réponses humanitaires. Souvent, oui. c'est les gens qui, sont, qui vont vers eux, qui les accueillent dans leur. Medical facilities here. Yes, for example, one of our partners, the Scouts, they are here, and they facilitate this medical screening. So there is. We see the facts, and the facts are that we see war crimes that have taken place. We see atrocities that we would not have imagined that happened, and every day we see new ones and we, we see more. Uh, these things cannot, uh, cannot happen undocumented, so we need to make sure that everything is collected, is analyzed, and, and people are prosecuted. And we have done that in the past. Uh, with the Yugoslavian war, we've also prosecuted people, and people got convicted in the end, and I'm convinced that here we can do exactly uh, the same. Of course, we have to help uh, people uh, in, in places like this. These are the most vulnerable people. It's mothers with young, with young children who come, uh, who come here. They need first relief. Uh, help here, give, give them food, give them some humanity. They come from very difficult uh, circumstances. And then as European countries, we do everything to, to, to help them out. Some countries, uh, some people stay in the neighborhood, some people come to Belgium and, uh, and, and we give them the full social support. In Belgium, they have access to, uh, to health care, to social services, to, uh, to schooling. And that's what we hear when we talk with Ukrainian refugees. They have two questions. Can my child go to school? And the mothers ask, can I work? somewhere because I want to contribute to, uh, to society. So in moments like this, when, when we see that humanity is being shattered in this, in this, in this incredible war where, where, where uh, the Russian army is, is, is doing things which are so far away from humanity, the best thing we can do as European countries is, is provide humanity. So, um, on, on, on the European side, we, we, we do a number of things. One of them is, is sanctions, and the economic sanctions are, are, are quite severe and are really uh, touching the, Europe, the Russian economy right in the heart and, and limiting the capacity of, uh, of managing the war. Second element is, is isolating Russia and isolating them from the rest of the international, uh, of the international uh, community. We are also providing the Ukrainians with the means to defend themselves through weapons, but also humanitarian uh, uh, humanitarian aid. And the last element is on, on the war crimes. And the war crimes are there, the facts are there. Uh, there, there are people who are responsible and that needs to be uh, collected, analyzed and in the end uh, prosecuted.